15. 3 2 win against Boreham Wood. It's not the first time this has happened to us this season. That scoreline doesn't tell half the story, does no, it? No, look, great character, uh, resilient, second half. Use whatever buzzword you want to use, but lad showed it. Look, that weren't us at the first half, and I was taken aback by it, if I'm honest, because this week's training, they've been absolutely bang at it, to say. And we didn't start, we didn't start. We, it wasn't until right just before the stroke of half time, we conceded the second one that we actually made a couple of passes, got down the side of them and got a great ball in across the six yard box from Reese. But other than that, it was, uh, we wasn't at the races. They, um, I wouldn't say we got bullied, I'd say we got schooled by an experienced team first half. They managed the game, they managed the game a lot better than us. Their experience of, a lot of their players have been at this level, or the level above, um, that experience showed. And they managed the situation a lot better. You could hear them, the circling referee, using that to their advantage. And as us as a group, there's, there's only Sean really out there and Rob from a distance, obviously losing Jay. And um, we lose that little bit of experience and uh, know how to say. But look, uh, kind of half time, there was no ranting and raving, just have a chat um, about things. We just, one or two didn't do well. Um, <clears throat> I thought Brothers was unfortunate. I had to make a decision to chase a game. Brothers uh, showed good energy, stretching him behind. But just looking at it, I just thought he needed, it was time for Jarvis to come on and, and change the game. And I thought he was outstanding second half Jarvis. But look, um, <clears throat> Riesel Johnson, he's had one of them afternoons. So he got done twice in 1v1s. Um, I won't say at fault, yes, um, for their first for the goal. Um, he's better than what he gave in that one v one area. Um, he's got he's got a nick on Young. He took it past Rob, but look, second half, I just asked, just say be brave and put your game onto him, and, and he did. He's got uh, two goals and assist, and uh, could have had a trick, and keeps pulled a great great save off him on the, at the back post. But look, it's um, it's a great result for us um, to come back from two 0 down. It is what it is. We've took three points. That was our aim. We've got three points. We've got to go and choose one. You said four up was unfortunate at half time. So it was those big decisions where you really earned your money. Yeah, look, that's that's my decision to make. Um, Gold, he wasn't his game. He won one or two flick ons. He was breaking down. I've got a decision to make, and I explain that to the players. They take that on board. Um, look, it's not just about eleven or, as I've said, fourteen if three get on, or sixteen with five subs. It's about collective as a group. Standards this week, they took the bar even higher. Um, we some of we've used all season about standards, absolutely outstanding this week in training. And that's not just the lads, the 16, that contrib uh, sorry, the lads who contributed the 13 and the subs, it's the other lads who have not made it today, but they've given me decisions to make and that's what my job is. We've had contrasting fortunes this season, last minute goals go against us, last minute goals go for us. Just how big is it when you've got such a tight turnaround to come out of a feeling like you do right now? Massive, look, it's, it's, it's euphoria, you've got every emotion running through your body. Um, Look, I was on the verge of had a yard of pace. I'd probably caught up um, Reese for the, for, the, for the winner down the touchline. But no, look, it's gone. We're, we'll enjoy it. Um, it is what it is. We took the three points. We came down for three points. We've got a massive game Tuesday night now. Jordan Ponsatelli and Van Jarvis presumably really put their names in the house. Yeah, look, um, it's been stop start for JP. And you want him to do so well because he's such a great kid. Um, that's why I'm look, under new ownership now. But previously, it wasn't a gamble. It's for a football club before he took take over. It happened. It was to to back me on a, on a two-year contract for the lad, not knowing what could happen this season. He's got great attributes, he's got an opportunity, he's an asset for us at football club, he can develop with the football club, and the football club will develop and go forward. He's just been stop-start for him, and you know what, that goal today for him will do, do the world of good. Um, is he ready for 90 minutes? Highly unlikely, we have got to manage him. It's for what's happened with his hamstrings, both sides. We, he's doing a programme, he's bought into that, and. He, doing his extra work, um, strengthening himself. Is he ready to start? Is he ready for 90 minutes? That's something I need to take stock of the next few days and make a decision on. So as when it's in a position like that, all you can ask for when he gets to 45 minutes and a half hour. Exactly, contribute, and he, he done more than contributed. He done more than contributed. Not take the goal away, he came into pockets, he was platform to build off, he's reliable with the ball, and he worked, and he chased and harried, and he put their back through under immense pressure. And long be deal. And looking ahead to Tuesday, how's Jay, how's the rest of the group? Yeah, um, Jake, uh, touch and go again for Tuesday. There's a lot of swelling um, around his knee, massive bruise. So we'll just wait and see. Rex, uh, similar to Jake, um, struggling with his knee. Uh, he'll have a scan this week and then all being well if he comes back. Um, nothing too sinister in the knee. It's a case of he, he may just have to start going through the pain barrier over the next few games. When you've had a game like this, you've really been pushed to the 90th minute. Do you have to adapt what you were planning for the week? No, because we've got a game Tuesday night. Um, look, we, we've always took the rough with the smooth. Uh, we'll enjoy this. It means nothing now. We've got what we came for, three points. We we'll get ready now. Lads are prepared right. They'll recover. We'll, we'll load them up with food on the way back. 
recovery drinks, etc. Do things properly. They'll rest themselves up, and then we'll we'll report back in Monday morning and uh, get ourselves ready for Tuesday night. Thanks, Dean.